In today's video, we're gonna be taking a first look at the brand new Ride One Up Rev One moped style electric bike. It cost 2,400 bucks. Comparing that to the, well, what would you compare this to? A Super 73. Uh, the Super 73, 3,300 bucks. So um, there are some significant performance differences here, which we'll cover, but there are two versions available on this bike. The full suspension, as well as the hardtail. The hardtail only costs 1,900 bucks. However, I would highly recommend you go with the full suspension uh, system for two reasons here. Um, I've rode a lot of these moped style electric bikes and I can tell you for certain, the number one complaint on these bikes is when they don't have full suspension, your weight sits over the seat here um, and you don't really tend to pedal these bikes nearly as much and when you do pedal bikes, your legs are kind of like the suspension system. That's not really the case on these moped style bikes. You kind of tend to sit back, your weight's over the back, and having this rear suspension on a swing arm, you really do significantly benefit from that. I, you know, like I said, you know, I've reviewed a lot of these bikes. When they come as a hardtail option, this is a significant downside. Uh, so obviously, you now it does have that uh, front suspension on there as well. Uh, which is good to have on um, any of these bikes. You can, this one is actually a dual crown and is a different front suspension on the, the full suspension one here. You can, if you take a look, it's pretty subtle. You might not notice it right away, but it actually it's a, it's a dual crown um, on the full suspension. So uh, it costs a little bit more, but you're also getting a bigger battery, but we'll talk about the battery in a minute. At first glance, you might think that this is a dual battery bike. It is not. Uh, the battery sits up here. Um, down here, you might look and think that's a battery. I'm guessing that's just the controller down there on both the hardtail and the soft tail. Um, anyway, let's move on down. So you can see, it looks like there's actually a little uh, spot down here for passenger peg kit installation, potentially for carrying a passenger. So let's dig in a little bit more here, take a look at it. Nice looking headlight. Now let's talk about the, uh, the looks of this bike. A lot of times these, you know, Super 73 is basically considered to be like the good looking, the stylish, the best looking um, moped style electric bike. They, they do look good. I have to admit, you know, I like the look of them. They look stylish. They are generally agreed to be a little bit overpriced for what they are. But the problem with a lot of these uh, competitors to Super 73 is they just don't look as good. Now, Super 73 Rev 1, I think they nailed it. This is a gray looking bike. It comes in two colors, graphite gray or moss green. I think I personally prefer the graphite gray. Uh, looks very clean. I like the uh, little panel here they put. It's just like a nice little touch. It looks pretty darn well put together and putting these two side by side, I think that I would actually choose the look of the Rev1. That rear swing arm on the Rev1, it just looks really nice. Good looking bike. It does not have spoke wheels. That's gonna lead to lower maintenance as well. Quarter twist throttle, hydraulic brakes. Let's get down more into the specs. Take a look at how this thing is going to actually perform. Has turn signals as well as brake lights. You can see the front turn signals right here on it, as well as the rear turn signals and brake light. Does not appear to have gears, which is not really a, a problem. I mean, these bikes are generally not really the kind of bike that you use for exercise as like a pedaling bike. So this actually kind of reduces some of the weight of the bike as well as takes away some of the complexity and clutter up here uh, on the handlebars. You don't really necessarily want or need on one of these style bikes. So it appears there's one gear on this bike, which in my opinion is all you need. Another look at those turn signals. From the front, this thing looks like a motorcycle. And honestly, that's pretty much what these are, just mopeds. So the speed says 20 miles per hour on throttle and pedal assist, additional class modes and speed. So I'm, you know, you're gonna be able to get into the settings here and change that. It has a 750 watt hub motor, very typical, 90 Newton meters of torque. This is a pretty strong geared hub motor. A lot of times 80 is pretty much the max we see 
on geared hub motors. So 90 is kind of like above and beyond what we normally see on a geared hub motor. Range, 40 to 60 miles. We'll talk about that here in just a moment. Some very stylish, good looking uh, marketing, very super 73 vibe, if you ask me. One year warranty. So, all right, now let's talk about the specs, the components. This is where the juicy stuff here. So uh, there's two different battery and controller options available. When I first saw this bike, I thought it was a dual battery bike because of, you know, that battery, or it just kind of looks like maybe there's a battery. It just kind of looked like, you know, that's clearly a battery. And then down here, I was like, is that another battery down there? Like a second smaller battery? Not the case. It's available in the FS or HT, full suspension or hardtail. So they're both 52 volt systems, which is great because if you go over and look at the Super 73, this is not. Scrolling on down to the spec section for the Super 73, it is a 48 volt system, 20 amp hour battery, 960 watt gas tank. We'll talk about that in just a moment. Um, on, on the uh, ride one up, Rev one is a 52 volt system. So essentially when you go from 48 to 50, 52 volts, you're getting a little bit more zip out of that battery. You're getting a little more performance. Generally higher voltage means you're gonna get higher top speeds as well as better acceleration. Just, it's got a little extra zip factor to it. I can tell you personally from all my reviews, uh, my 72 volt batteries are monsters compared to, you know, 60 volts or 48 volts or anything like that. You go up in voltage, you go up in um, acceleration power. Of course, you have to take into account the uh, amperage as well. So going back to price and performance here, the hardtail, not only do you not get the full suspension, uh, you also get a smaller 15 amp hour, 52 volt battery. Hey Siri, what is 52 times 15? 52 times 15 is 780. So 780 watt hours gas tank uh, range basically on this one, and you get 25% more on the full suspension 20 amp hour battery. Hey Siri, what's 52 times 20? 52 times 20 is 1,040. So 1,040 watt hour gas tank um, range on the full suspension, comparing that to the Super 73, 960 watt hours of energy. So that's kind of like where the uh, voltage comes in handy again, 48 volt system times 20, it's just a smaller number than 52 times 20. And then if you wanna look at the maximum power available of these bikes, they, they're 750 watts nominal is like, you know, what the motor can run at, but the controller, really determines you know how much power you can pull from the battery so looking at the full suspension setup here hey siri what's 52 times 28 52 times 28 is 1456 so 1456 uh, maximum watts power the controller can pull basically is what that number means comparing that um to Super 73, they claim 1200 watts peak. Now that's just the, the numbers there. So also, you know, the hardtail, they have a smaller controller, 25 amp controller instead of 28 amp controller on the full suspension. So it's a pretty heavy bike, 93 pounds, pretty typical really for uh, these style bikes. And you get a four amp charger on the full suspension or three amp on the hardtail. Look at that display. That That's a nice looking display here in this picture. So the Ride One Up Rev One comes shipped, pre-programmed as a class two, which means you're only gonna get 20 miles per hour whether you're on pedal assist or throttle. However, um, it appears that there's a switch and settings that you could probably pretty easily do to modify this thing up to 28 miles per hour, which is uh, pretty standard. Uh, looking at the numbers though, that full suspension with the, the peak power output that I saw, I was able to calculate there, punching that number into Siri. Uh, this thing, in theory, I would think would be able to go even faster than 28 for sure. Oh, they got the owner's manual you can click on. Wow. I'm not going to bore you guys with looking through all this. Oh, wow. That's like a legit straight up like motorcycle light controls here. Uh, headlight, high beam, low beam, turn signals, horn. And ride one up, if you're watching this video, I would absolutely love to review this bike. So uh, hit me up in the uh, 
email section on my about page if you want to work together. So I just woke up this morning. I was actually planning on working on a different video, but I saw this Ride One Up Rev One pop up in my news feed, and I was like, wow. This thing looks awesome. Just want to kind of make a first impressions commentary video on it. Check out the link in the description below if you want to learn more. Uh, it looks like it's available for pre-order now and they're expected to ship in the springtime, early March. Overall, 2,400 bucks for this style bike. I think it's a pretty sweet deal. What do you guys think? Drop a comment down below. I saw some people kind of uh, giving a little bit of hate. Uh, I think Ride One Up generally has kind of a more of, of a bicycle riding community. The Rev One definitely draws an entire different kind of crowd. I'm a fan of pretty much any kind of electric bike. Anyway, share your thoughts below and I'll catch you in my next video.